Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can connect the MIT App Inventor app with Firebase. So you can store any data from App Inventor to the Firebase and from the Firebase, you can fetch any data in your app. So let me show you. So I'm going to create a simple project here. Okay. Firebase project something and okay. And that's my app name and that's my first screen here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just use your one button. I'm going to use your one text box. Now I'm going to make both in a center like this. And whenever someone click on that button, we need to send that data to the Firebase. So send data, something like this. Okay, like this. Now, how we can connect that app Inventor to Firebase? So first of all, we need to create a Firebase account. Okay, so you can see the Firebase. So open the firebase.google.com and you need to create an account. You can sign in with Google. After this, you will see here the go to console option. Click on it. You can see this is the Firebase console. You will see the create a project in the plus icon. Click on it. Now my project name is, you can type any name. So Firebase new project something and click on continue. So click on continue and then continue. And you need to select the Google Analytics account. So you can choose the default and click on create project. We need to wait some seconds and that will create a project for us. You can see project finished. Click on continue. And this is our main dashboard. Now, we can see get started by adding Firebase to your app. But now what you need to do here in the left side, you will see here the build, run and analytics option. Click on that build option. And here you will see the real-time database. You can see a real-time database. Click on it. And just wait some seconds. And this is the real-time database. Now we need to click on the create database. And you can select the data center. Okay, so I'm going to just select the US. And then just click on next. And just click on enable. Now that's it. That created the, you know, project. Now what I need to do here, let's go to the rules option here. And just make that rule to the true. Okay, like this, like this, and just make it publish. Okay, why we are uh, using a true? So we can control that, uh, you know, that database from our app inventor. There's other option for that also. So we are going to learn in the next chapter about that. Now we are going to just make it true. Okay, now you can see, go to the data in the top, and we need to copy that URL. You can see this is the URL. Okay, now go to the app inventor project. And here we need to use your extension. In the left side, you will see here the experimental. In the bottom, you will see here. You can see this is the Firebase DB. Okay. Experimental. So we need to just drag and drop that Firebase here. And okay. Like this. Now, we have a Firebase. Now, we have copied the URL from here, this project. And click on Firebase. You can see the Firebase URL. We just need to paste that URL here. That's it. Okay. Now, let's go to the block section. So whenever we click on that button, okay, button one, so we need to store the data in the Firebase. So click on Firebase DB and you will see here the value of store value. We can see this one. Just drag and drop it. The tag, in which tag we need to store the data. So I'm going to just use here the default tag and that tag name is something name. Okay. And the value we need to store. So I'm going to store here the text box one dot text value. This one. It. Now let's go to the design. Now let me just test this okay on phone. So first of all, what I'm gonna do here, I make that a screen background color to something default. Okay, and make that text box uh, default color. Now let me just run this connect AI companion and I'm gonna use my phone here when it's connecting. Okay, so you can see there's nothing right now, okay, and uh, it's connected as you can see here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. So here's one text box and send data button. So I'm gonna just fill that. Okay, and I'm going to just open that also here. So let's see the real time data. So fill the coding bus here. Click on send data. And you can see the Firebase project and name is the coding bus. Fantastic. It means now using this app, you can send data. Okay, from your app to the Firebase. Now I want to fetch the data. Okay, so how we can do this? This is really very simple. So suppose if you want to fetch the data of particular tag. Okay, so let's do one thing here. I'm going to just change the value, the coding bus to something. Okay, TCB. 
So it's drag and drop one button here. And in that button is like get data. And whenever someone click on that data, uh, get data button. So we are going to fetch value. Okay. In that label. Okay. Data. I make it 20. So we can fetch it. So let's go to the block. Button 2. So whenever someone click on button 2, it means get data. So first click on Firebase. I can see here the option of get value. This one. From which tag? So we all know that we have the default tag is the name. Or if you have multiple tags, so you can just define the tag. From the tag name, we need to fetch the value. After fetching the tag, as you can see here, the Firebase got value. Okay. If the name is exist, then that will got the value. And we need to display that value in the label. So I'm going to display that value and just save it. That's it. Okay. Now, let me just try this, how this will work. Okay. Now let's click on, now let's click on that get data. You can see the TCV, right? This one. So it means using that, so using the simple blocks, you can connect your Firebase with MIT App Inventor app. I already have created a lot of videos related to the Firebase with App Inventor, so you can watch them. If you need any help on that, please comment on the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.